Ooh, what is up you guys and welcome to another PU Wi-Fi battle with your stroll course, the Skyrender. And today we're up against Flaming Axel or Raymond in, well, a PU match. And my team is semi-decent here. Uh, versus Raymond, you know, he's always been one of those players that have a tendency to either uh, bring too little or too much. He's never in the middle ground, so I try to be that myself, which usually means I get either too strong or too weak, depending on what he's bringing. <laughs> that's that's the kind of honest truth. Uh, that said, though, you know, I always have a decent chance versus him, but it's basically about mind games to some extent. And uh, my team is as follows. We have uh, Alolan Golem, we have Quiverdad's Blossom, a Nifberg or Ariados Agility Variant, Gustlord, which I believe is a C Draco, and we have a Scarf Bazimion, and we got the Simiseer here with uh, Salakberry Gluttony. So, yeah, like I said, I think my team is decent. It's a definitely a middle ground uh, PU team with some. Um, Idiot mods on it. I'm definitely gonna say that. Um, similar series stuff I really want to use for quite some time, but it just it's hard to use, and this is not gonna necessarily help. As we're gonna see, right? We see tentacle. That's always great. Um, biggest fear is definitely um, Steelix and Torkoal. Uh, Torkoal can't be um, draw though, which is good since it's PU. Tentacle can be annoying. Um, mainly because he does, to some extent, wall Ariados. Uh, his best lead, honestly, would be... Um, without really joking about it, I think his strongest lead here would be uh, Steelix. Uh, so with that said, I'm actually going to lead off with my Gust Lord. I think overall it's the strongest because it feels so obvious that I could bring uh, Alolan Golem for a lead. And quite frankly, I do not want to see him set up rocks. Um... Well, let's see. I'm gonna wish him good luck, good luck, and have fun. I'm definitely aiming for the fun. Did I take a picture of the team? Because I kind of forget him at the same time. Yeah, there we go. Red Eyes could be interesting though. Um, Red Eyes is very hard to knock out. So I'm gonna lead off with Bronx, as we see Sky Rander. All right, Steelix, cool. Sky uh, or Steelix was actually my mascot when I started uh, pocket tubing, so really glad to see it making a grand return here. As my easiest play here is going for a fire blast. Um, I think his strongest play here would actually be to switch into his Torkoal. Um, and if it goes to Torkoal, I'm gonna go for C Draco directly. And basically, I know Shenatic is a switch him, but quite frankly, it's my best play here as Jelly Time. Alright, it's gonna take this really well too, if I connect it, that is. Uh, that looks about right. Most certainly. Um, I kinda need to whittle him down, so I'm gonna go for Dark Pulse first. So it's a special defensive monster, is he gonna go for a knockoff? Uh, that's going to reveal a nope for him, if anything. Uh, so I go for Dark Pulse, and it should do... it does alright. It does alright. It does alright. I know I said that, but I can say that again. It does alright. Um, <sighs> I'm gonna bring Balix. Um, try to get up my rocks, basically. As it withdraws, the jelly time goes to Ridgy Eyes. That's that's great. Now, a bit of a twist here is actually due to the change of typing, um, it's not half bad. Uh, I don't believe red eyes can hit me super effectively. Uh, not that I'm especially defensive or anything like that, but I can definitely get my rocks up. He only has one spinner in uh, Torkoal, which I definitely want to wield out in the long run. He does decide to switch out, uh, goes to Skarander. And that's not a good sign, as um, we're kind of checked here. We're kind of checked here. And I really, really do not want to take an EQ from this guy. I'm going to switch back to Bronx. The thing is here, I don't think... Hmm. 
damn. Damn, damn. Yeah, I really don't have a good switch in here, have I? I'm gonna switch in Bronx again. I'm kind of forced to. Um, he's definitely gonna go for rocks here. If it goes for earthquake, that's a good play on his part. Uh, as it goes for R and Tail, oh, it's Sheer Force boosted. It's Sheer Force. Sheer Force. Sheer Force. We do not like that. Fire Blast might very well kill, actually. I'm gonna go for Dark Pulse here. He's definitely gonna switch out. That miss definitely did did mean a lot there. It did definitely mean a lot. Let's get the flinch too. We don't get that. Let's see how much our tail really does. Ooh. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> wow. Alright. Truly, truly that hurts. Truly that hurts. Alright. Um switching yellow time. <sighs> wow, that really 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 stung me. Uh, now, he's going to most likely have Rapid Spin on this guy. And I don't have a Spin Blocker. No, I do not. So he's going to succeed in doing so. Uh, as we go for Dark Pulse again, there's a little enough I can do to just kind of stop this from happening. Um, so Starfrog did not end up mattering all too much, as we're going to knock out um, the Tentacool. Uh, now, the thing is here... Um, I want to go for Draco. I, I really do, since we get the beast boost. But uh, I wonder. Golurk is definitely has the possibility of coming in. And so goes for Red Eye, which I really, really believe actually just straight up chaos us. Since it does outspeed us. I don't have a speed investment, so my best chance of actually going for um, a C move would be against the likes of Torkoal. So if he brings red eyes, he has a good chance of actually going for setup in rock polish. So with that in mind, I might actually be forcing myself to kind of stay in. Uh, he does go for red eyes. Uh, I'm not going to do the next level play here. Um, like looking at this team again. Earth power most certainly will KO us. Gustler has no switch ins left. So we're going to go for devastating Drake. Really hope he goes for something weird. He does not. All right. Too bad for us. Poor Bronx. Really like Gustler in, in PU. Might have a bit overpowered, but then again, you know, we did lose him, so... It's always a relative. Um, I'm gonna bring in Sinnerchoke. <laughs> Here we go. Go straight up for a nasty plot here. I definitely believe Torkoal comes in. He does stay in. That's interesting. Um, I wonder, what could he do? Thunderbolt. That doesn't bring us... Oh, bring us down to Salak! Hey yo! Hey yo! What's up? Fire Blast it is. Come on, does it KO? It's still a red eyes. Oh, oh no! Oh, I would have been cool though. I would have been cool. All right, Incinor choke does what it does, which is choke. <laughs> ah, damn it! It was not a straight up sweep from there on out anyway. But that was that was unfortunate. I would really like to see that. That oh, makes me that makes me very unhappy. Alright, I'm gonna bring Bastion, um, which is my, um, my marvelous, my marvelous monster. I have no idea what I want to go with that, but yeah, I think a U-turn is enough to KO, because it's an, the Pizimian is a very, very offensive Pokemon, as Shrooms for days comes in, I think that's good. I think that's good. Um, wow, we really don't do anything there, do we? Um, we do have a Stealth Frogger situation here, which is really cool. But I also have a Niffenberg switching. Which is something that I really, really, really want to use. Because, you know, Niffenberg is always a threat. <laughs> so it's four times effective cross poison. Come on, that's... That's no joke. That's... Um, that's just how dangerous it is. Uh, now he's definitely gonna sack play. Um, 
he's most certainly gonna sack play here. The, um, the red eyes. I believe that's his strongest play. Uh, actually, no. How boring. Boo. Boo. <laughs> Boo. Boo. Oh, that makes me unhappy. That makes me very unhappy. Um, Jeremy, <laughs> really, really want to do something fun here. Uh, right, bring a bastion again. Um, I can definitely take a chef bo boosted, um, chef force boosted. Can speak chef force boosted um, iron tail real quick. Explosion, however, is is a different story. Come on, bastion. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Alright, so that didn't work um, at all. Now, let's see. He has a Golurk left, which is an immense threat on me. And he has Torkoal, he has a Shroom. I really, really, really need to get up my rocks here, if anything. I also need some kind of residual damage onto that Torkoal, which means that stealth rocks will be important. But I'm pretty sure he brings Golurk here. Uh, I certainly would have done that. Ready alert, there we go. And I really need to go for the Night Slash. I can't risk anything. Um, I really want to risk everything, but I can't. Um, he doesn't have a decent switch in though, since I always am able to score a crit. But it's whether or not I can take an EQ from this monster, which I feel is highly unlikely. Uh, but I'm sure a sniper crit does KO here. Uh, he's not taking that gamble. Goes to Turtle Paw. This is exactly what we need. Um, any kind of... It has Droth. Alright, so... Maybe he's not aware of the meta. Um, let's see, and that doesn't do anything. That's unfortunate, actually. If it has Solar Beam, this is really unfortunate. I'll still need to receive a little damage there, so I can't... I need to go for Cross Poison. Um, as I hope, I score a crit. Sniper crit would be really nice. Doesn't happen. Goes for Earth Power. I don't think that's Chaos. No, it doesn't. That was a crit too. Nice. Let's see. Let's try this one more time. Good to see Earth Power wasn't too powerful there. Um... There is a crit, though. There we go. Remember, that was a crit, so I might very well survive this one. Oh, well, fuck you too, game. Fuck you too. Um. Well, that wasn't good. That wasn't good at all. Alright, bring in Balix. And... Uh, I really, really, really need to go for rocks. Let's do that. Alright. Alright. Here comes our power. It might very well KO. Bye, Balix. Um. Man, if only I had one more turn of not sun. That would have been so helpful. Because I want to go for a quiver dance. But Lava Plume might very well KO. Or burn me, if worse of worse. Bruno is not invested. I really gotta take a gamble on this. I don't like doing this, but I kinda have to. Come on, Belossum, survive a lava plume, I beg of you. In the sun, has flame floor, that's better-ish. Ooh, yes! And the sunlight faded, bitch! The sunlight has faded! And so will your life from here on out. 
Mm, bitch. Um, I mean, I need all the extra HP I can get, right? Let's go for Giga Drain. Oh, I wonder. I wonder. Can we KO a Golurk? That's the biggest question. I am pretty sure we can't. I am pretty sure we can't. But we will outspeed it and get a lot of HP, so is whether or not he's like C fly? And if so, you know, the props to my opponent here. The only bad part about this, and I really can't stress this enough, is that due to draw, Flamethrower was a 2 hit kill on us. Or with Quiver Dance, that is. I'm pretty sure, had it been offensive, I would not have been able to survive the Flamethrower. Had it had Fire Blast, though, I would have been screwed. Shrooms for this comes in. Little do you, does, does he know that I pack Slutchabomb. And that's exactly what I'm going for. Um, oh, please. I really need a win. I really need a win. But like I said here, I'm pretty sure Golurk can survive us. I'm pretty sure about that. Um, Red Eyes is dead by rocks, which is awesome. I would I would have no way of setting up besides the Torkoal. It's what a really weird situation. Setting up against super effective damage. Really, really wish I was weakness policy. That would have been pushing the boundaries of this set. But yet again, we couldn't pull that off. Um, he's really thinking about this. Golurk is his only switching. Uh, he's going to get some residual damage. It will not be anything there. Uh, like I said here, I am pretty sure Golurk can survive a Giga Drain. If it doesn't do that, you know, props to me. You know, that's that's just good planning from my side. Clearly, Hex was never a factor there. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Lufia, do it! Oh, she does it! She does it! Oh, dear Jesus! Come on, come on. Lufia, do it! Oh, she does it! She does it! Oh, dear Jesus! <laughs> Never thought I'd see Blossom working! Never in my life! Ah, oh, that's so cool! <laughs> that is so cool! Hey! Finally a win in PU! Been waiting forever for something to be working in Wi-Fi! Fuck you, Red Eyes! Ah, <laughs> oh, GG, Raymond! GG! Um, I'm gonna be honest though, um, look, clearly uh, the Iron Tail missed there with Steelix did matter to some extent. We barely win this one, and uh, it is due to luck and pretty much luck alone. And of course, forcing down the Torkoal there with my Ariados, you go in for uh, Cross Poison over anything else, really did kind of lead way to the battle um, ending in my favor. Because without the residual damage, I don't believe Sludge Bomb would have been uh, KO from even 50%. I'm very unsure of that. I could, you know, I could gamble on it, but I I needed the Quiver Dance to pull that off. So with that in mind, definitely GG. I was very lucky here. I, I'm not gonna take that away, but yeah, that was an awesome game. So thank you so much, Red Raymond, and everybody's been watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because yeah, doing it live is so much more awesome, isn't it? Probably not. <laughs> Anyway guys, as always, thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.